Hello all the blockers, welcome back to all of you once again. My name is Nikhil and hope you all are doing well. So this is part 7 of the scope application where we were building ticket booking application. So in this video tutorial, uh, you will learn to configure an NLU for virtual agent. So basically NLU provides a virtual agent to understand the human readable sentence and execute the topic. And to enable the plugin, uh, from the application navigator, you have to type plugin and under the system definition, you can see the plugins many here. And once you open page, page will be appear and from here you can search by typing any common model or I will provide this in this description you just copy and paste here and, and you can search and from here only we have to install and after installation and if you will type NLU here then you can see the NLU workbench application and under this the model you could see just open it and here you can see the list of models which uh, some are out of the box created and some are which I have created so for our application uh, I created this ticket booking application and you just open it and please ignore this uh, message for now and so uh, for this ticket booking application NLU we have uh, three intent and intent basically tell us about the intent of the user they are looking for the services okay like uh, to check the status to cancel the book the status or to book ticket and while creating intent uh, and training model okay you have to make sure that uh, your model should have more than one intent before training model and each intent uh, must have utterances and the best and the good practice is that if you will write uh, more than 15, 20 utterances and then it will be better for any new model and you also so it will be better for our application uh, not the use and let's open the ticket status so here friend uh, we have all these utterances and I have selected the word for to track as an entity meaning if the user repeat all these words like report, status, information, position then NLU can be able to understand the human sentence and execute the topic. For that, uh, we have to create the entities. And how we can create entities? You just have to select the word and then uh, from here you can create a new entity or you can select from the existing. Okay, that's it. And to add the utterances, you just have to type the same things and then you have to click this button here. So, all this 
10 things for equity status and like that uh, we have for this to intense cancel ticket and book ticket and I just want to open this one and and I just want to show you by trying this model so if I type here I want to I want to book ticket okay to book ticket so here you can see the entity uh, for all these inferences have for all these utterances uh, is an entity called booking ticket okay and the value which match is this book because this book word is also a part of that entity so I will show you what entity is this. This you can see book ticket. So this is how you can try your model after training, and you can only able to try the model once your model successfully trained. Okay, that's it. And I'll show you. To execute a virtual agent topic, how it will work. Okay. So, friend, here, uh, let's suppose you have a uh, three topic or three intent. Okay. And the confidence will show you. We'll go here. The confidence threshold here is sixty percent. Means if uh, your sentence at least match the sixty percent, then your NLU will execute a virtual agent topic based on the selected intent, right? Because uh, for one topic, we can select only one intent so based on that it will execute the topic so let's suppose uh, for the ticket status while typing the sentence the confidence is match uh, this much of percentage 0 0.8 okay uh, that is 80 percent and for this cancel ticket confidence uh, which match is 0 0.75 and for the book ticket the 0 0.6 and here trace file is 0 0.7 means uh, if you go to the system property okay and I will show you this is good so please go And if I will search by H O L D threshold. So maybe we have to go on on that slide that. Yes, that intent confidence 
So here you can see the threshold is 0 0.7 and 70% and here what this uh, model is saying that if the sentence will match uh, at least 60% uh, then based on that NLU model will execute the selected uh, top according to the intent right And here you can see here this 0.6 I marked it a uh, red color because this is not coming in the range of 0.7 it is less than 0.7 and again but here you can see the 60% is same right percent of 0 to 1 value so here t is the number of topics above threshold okay. number of let's suppose uh, for this NLE model we have three topics ticket to take the status to cancel the ticket and to book the ticket and while talking about this delta will calculate confidence of first topic and minus confidence of the second topic means uh, this two topic 0 0.8 minus 0 0.75 it will just subtract first topic second topic by first topic and then it will return the results and here you can see to check the threshold wait, uh, wait for a while friends you will be clear just wait for a while yes sorry yes let's go ahead so threshold threshold uh, not the trace on the looking for delta. Think confidence and it's called delta. It will come what that one does not come. Confidence is called delta. So let's open this top. Okay. And from there, let's copy the stump property. Till that. Uh, time so if t equal to 1 okay means if the end user sentence reach this point okay t equal to 1 it's 100 percent match with the intent and for that it will directly execute that topic or Delta is greater than 0 0.07 means if the delta okay, this confidence, this value, confidence of the first topic and confidence of the take, uh, second topic. After calculation, if a greater than or equal to this, then all that topic will be populated for the selection. In our case, uh, you could see this ticket status and cancel ticket. Okay. 
so this is greater than 0.07 so this two topic will be appear and from that we can select the topic and in case if t equal to 0 means uh, this t will be 0 and then there is no chance of calculating confidence of the first topic and confidence of the second topic we can't do that okay then in this case it will include the fallback topic So let me show you the delta of the here. Confidence. So the delta, delta. Here I see. Okay, here you could see. Copy this. So here you can see 0 0.1 and this value will be updated uh, after each search, after each calculation. So like uh, from the confidence of the first topic and minus confidence of the second topic. That is 0 0.8 minus 0 0.75. So here if uh, no any condition will match okay in this case there is a property com that flight that CSD CS dot NLU dot keywords dot NUS Okay, just copy this and paste here. So you you could see this value is true. Means true keywords we can execute this topic. Okay. That is. That's all. And hope you understand. Then for the first time it will uh, confuse you but after some time if you will go ahead and check all the things then it will be clear for you as well. So thank you for watching we will meet in our next session.